right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Alex Caceres and Dustin Poirier. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quick. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission this time. Ah, it's crazy. <laughs> Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? By close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. 26 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Pool. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Power right hand there from the King of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. Mike around there in the corner has really honed Dustin's all around game. And he certainly finds himself in the middle of this fighting club. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art. Wow. This might just be a matter of time. Side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Caceres. And he caught the kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Good stick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> right hand upstairs. Nice kick. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact 
Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Great shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up again. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Back to his feet. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. A nice shot there from Caceres. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. to land a perfect shot, and that was a perfect shot. You ready to fight? Ready. Oh, he landed another. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Good work from the top here by Caceres. Back to the feet now. Big punch land. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming. Oh! He was hurt. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. up again here, but he looks hurt. watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand.
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his... Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. 